sights are set, I have my strategy and game plan, and I look forward to that match in the main event this afternoon. Absolutely, the Patriot now re-entering the ring, and now the, the Syndicate's stepping out, taking a breather. Now, now, as the match started last night, with it was several minutes before we ever got a bell because uh, the Patriot was getting hands on both of them, <laughs> and, and Tarvin took it upon himself. To, it was practically a handicap match for the first several minutes of the matchup. You know, Jake, I have to wonder, is this now a reverse psychology, a reverse mind game happening now? Now the Patriot is in the ring, and now Tarvin and Costello have taken a leave of absence, and they've decided to step outside and delay the match a little bit. Maybe they're trying to give the Patriot a taste of his own medicine. Absolutely. Definitely answer him there. I mean, uh, yeah. and they're still looking frustrated on the floor. But uh, ma making the Patriot wait the way he made them, that's, that's a good point. And they're letting these fans know exactly what they think of them and their USA chants. Tony Costello now circling around on this uh, dirt floor here. He's circling. He's going to make sure he covers every inch of this dirt floor, Jake, to let the fans know exactly he better watch. how he feels. Uh, he's about to get belted across the jaw by this uh, female fan here that's waving the flag. It's a battle of, of, of the... And look at that. You see? Tarvin decided that he needs to refocus. He... Remembers the Patriot is right behind him in the ring. I mean, Doc Gregory right there in the center. He's trying to uh, give instructions both ways, and uh, it looks like we may be getting underway here. Can't say enough about this uh, Tri-County Fairgrounds, the uh, Petersburg, West Virginia. We were here one year ago at the inaugural event, uh, and the Elite Wrestling Alliance had a great card there, a great crowd, just like we do here tonight. So this is exciting. And I think we're about to get underway here. The fans are ready. I'm ready, Jake. I'm ready to see this, this match happen. After what happened last night, I'm really interested to see how this goes down today. Yeah, I want to touch on real quick with your main event here later tonight as we uh, were talking about. You you did pin the ladies' champion. You put her shoulders to the mat cleanly, I might add. Uh, some people always like to try to find ways to uh, say that there was some type of snafu that caused you to get some certain wins here and there. I know that's not the case. I know that you're the best female on the planet. And t uh, i got to believe Tess Valentine, licking her wounds in a hotel last night, probably had to uh, look in the mirror and think, my goodness, she put my shoulders on that once. Can she do it again? Absolutely. She, she's looking at her reflection, wondering, have I bitten off more than I can chew? Is this really a feud? Is this really a fight that I want to engage myself in? And I have a feeling that Tess was thinking long and hard last night and probably not sleeping all that well. Absolutely. It wouldn't surprise me if she left the belt at home just so she didn't have to take the chance on losing it. You know, I've heard that some champions do. And to me, that has to be a sign of just not being focused on the task at hand. Absolutely. And here we go. We finally get the opening bell now this match is officially underway now let's patriot just making sure everybody knows who the crowd is behind today now travis tarvin of the syndicate well over 300 pounds if there's one man that can match size and power with the patriot on this elite roster it's definitely tarvin absolutely absolutely not to mention as i said the strategy having his tag team partner out there in his corner it has to give him a mental advantage as well knowing that he has that insurance policy and that backup plan on the outside if needed these guys definitely have a uh, have an advantage with his presence but uh, do you think being primarily a tag team wrestler do you think that's, that that takes a little away from his game plan knowing that he can't tag him in I have to think so I would be surprised if we possibly saw at some point in the match Tarvin maybe even go for the tag knowing that Costello is there however not officially part of this match I absolutely think that has to play into it maybe uh, throw him off his game a little bit absolutely Tarvin now being muscled back into the corner and he's uh, he's complaining about what looks like a hair pull but I'm not sure if there was one it wouldn't surprise me because the Patriots have been known for some shady tactics when the ref can't see. Shady or not, USA, USA. Tarvin here complaining. He he wants the ref to to do something about this. Ref can't can't do anything about something he doesn't see happen, Jake, and he hasn't seen the hair pull happen. I've been in the, the ring countless times as uh, Doc Gregory as my referee and I mean this this guy's got eyes in the back of his head sides front I mean he, he usually catches every he doesn't get duped too many times and I can confirm that Doc absolutely is a, an excellent referee definitely you know he's he's the head referee here at Elite Pro for a reason he's typically a strict guy too he doesn't mind getting between 200 300 pounders and really laying into him that's right being a former wrestler himself I mean he knows how to get physical if he has to absolutely Tarva now in control over the Patriot there's a big chop there in the corner, but here we go. Reversal, far side. 
Oh, and a big right hand. Took Tarvin down with one shot. Tarvin struggling to get to a rope. Looks like Tarvin, maybe, is he looking for Costello? Looks like he was maybe looking for a tag there. He may have been. That may have been an instinctive move there. Costello on the up, all, opposite side of the ring there. Oh. Maybe Costello's decided it should be a tag. Oh. Oh, and a drop toe hold. Oh, goodness. The Patriots sees Costello at just the last second. Good try, boys, but unfortunately, the Patriot just was a little too wise wow, for that one. what a, a, a not-so-slight miscue there on the part of the European syndicate. Needless to say, I think uh, Tarvin is in quite a bit of pain thanks to his tag team partner at the moment, unintentionally, of now course. They, they, had a, they had a small handful of uh, snafus like that last night. The, the, the Patriot has been around this business so long that he can see things before they happen. He can see them starting to fester. Absolutely. That, I think that's exactly what happened right there. And I, I think I think Tarvin and Costello are regrouping already. We're very early on in this opening matchup, and I, I I feel like maybe they're already going to plan B, Jake. They seem to be a little thrown here today. Now, knowing uh, <laughs> the, the credentials, <laughs> the credentials of Doc Gregory's referee, I'm surprised that he's leaving that flagpole in the corner there. Uh, last night, that flagpole did come into play. Unfortunately for them, it didn't uh, work out to their advantage. But, I mean, it, it, <laughs> look at the torque he's got on that wrist now. Look at that, and you can see the pain in Tarvin's face, just the agony. Hey, he's biting him. Come on, Doc. I'm, I'm sitting here talking you up. There he goes. He's admonishing the Patriot. Doc now asking Tarvin it. Up. Oh. Patriot really applying the pressure there. Looked like there was a bird flying around Petersburg there for a moment, but uh, now Seems once again, now both hands. I mean, when you're looking at the size of the Patriot torquing somebody's wrist, it could snap it. And as you were saying earlier, Tarvin and the Patriot very similar in size, but as you can see, the torque he has on that is just causing Tarvin to crumble right on his feet. So a lever stand. Now he's going for the reversal there. I was going to say if Tarvin faced the Patriot a little more, maybe he could take a little of that torque, but he must have had a reversal on his mind, and it's definitely uh, to his advantage at this point. Now let's see if he can do something now that he's in control. Give the Patriot a little taste of his own medicine. Tarvin now communicating with Costello. Oh, here's the double teaming. This is the advantage of having your tag team partner ringside. And, and Doc Gregory with his back to it, and uh, Costello trying to wrench the arm out of the socket there. Obviously, Tarvin and Costello have a game plan. Focus on that arm. Tarvin lays that knee right into the tricep there. Looks like they might be going. Looks like it worked so well the first time. Why not try again? They're targeting that arm of, of the Patriot. Although the Patriot, again, the you know the veteran that he is, was able to counteract until now, and as you can see, there we go, Costello on the ring apron again, and Doc Gregory's back. I mean, I, I was talking about him, but sometimes you get enough bodies out there, you can't watch everybody. You know, he he is as good as he may be. He is only just still one person. Absolutely, Tarvin now has zeroed in on that arm. I'm wondering after seeing the the, the full Nelson slam, the uncle slam, if you will, as he calls it, uh, on Costello last night. Maybe they they zeroed in on that to prevent that from happening again. Oh, absolutely. If you weaken that arm, you know. Uh, here we go. The Patriot with a poke to the eye. Now he's. Uh, he, oh, Chase, he just, there you go. Costello is totally oblivious to the fact that he's wrenching his own partner's arm. Costello is so pleased with himself, really going at it there, just really, really twerking that arm. And the Patriot. Unbeknownst to the fact, now I think, now let's put two and two together. And, and Costello finally putting two and two together realizing that he just took the arm. You could see the realization come over Costello's face when he realized what was happening. Oh, now, you know, all good teams. All right, the Europeans had to get quick to make up. Oh, no, oh, the Patriot. No. Double knock and knocker. He thinks they need to be a little closer as a team. And he's willing to help them come closer together. Unbelievable. When the syndicate uh, peel out, try to regroup. They not only have to feel foolish, but now stunned. Back on the floor now, the, the syndicate 
uh, yet another strategy. You know, I, I feel like this is another time for them to strategize, maybe come up with a plan. What are we on now? C, D? The Patriot just keeps foiling every plan they come up with in this matchup. Oh, no, I don't, I don't agree with this at all. <laughs> you may no. not have to like Italy, but that doesn't mean that you need to desecrate the flag. You know, it's... Uh, there's loving the USA, and, well... You know, we all love the countries that, that we're from, and, and they happen to love theirs, and I'm not sure that this oh, is necessarily... Oh, here it is. It's disgusting. You know. All the children waving their USA flags in the crowd just... The Patriot with one of his uh, textbook peck bounces. I think he's trying to clean the flag, Jake. Maybe this is a public service Perhaps that he's, he's trying uh, to provide. I, th I think he was trying to shine it up. There's only so many ways you can shine up a flag. You know that, right? I'm, I'm not sure if it's desecrating to wash it, but I would run that through the washing machine when I get I, in the I fire. think at least a good like covering of Febreze is, is definitely <laughs> in need right now. Indeed. Costello now, it, it may be to his advantage just to stay out of the way from this point on. None too happy with, with the events at this point in time between wrenching his own partner's arm and now having to watch his precious flag be uh, treated in that manner. I don't think he's very happy at this point in time. Here we go now. We got both of the legal competitors back into the ring and here we go. Patriot got that tight headlock there in control. And the size of the Patriot, the size of the arms, the back, the chest, a uh, uh, side headlock is not your typical run-of-the-mill side headlock. No, absolutely not. There's that much more pressure being applied to the side of that skull, and it wears a man down very quickly. Our Irish whip far side there on the Patriot comes back with a shoulder tackle. Tarvin very wisely centered himself and took a little bit of the, the, in the center of his body to maybe knock him off balance. But here we go, the Patriot third oh, time, ducks a clothesline. Big strikes from the Patriot. Finally oh, takes no. him down. And I think that you could see there that, that Travis Tarvin was a little uh, unorthodox, a little off balance there because uh, as is very rare in pro wrestling, the Patriot throwing those left-handed lariats. A lot of time people are trying to uh, adapt to what they think is coming. And when your typical uh, right-handed opponents throw a clothesline, you're trying to figure out a way out. And he couldn't there. He kept centering himself. Yet another another advantage of the veteran that is the Patriot. When you have so many years in that ring, you you think differently, you have a different game plan, you're able to adapt quickly as needed. All right, big leg drop now. First pen attempt of the match. Tarving out a two. And he hooked the leg, so he definitely hasn't done enough damage quite yet. Tarvin now taking the referee. Oh, and we knew why. Just so Costello can just provide a little more assistance to the correct person this time, I might add. And now Far Co more effective. Costello effectively uh, applying the choke there. Another pin attempt. Solid two count there. I mean, Tarvin is at least, that's the second two count now in this matchup. The Patriot has yet to have a single pin attempt, Jake. Tarvin shouting instructions now to Costello and he's back to the flagpole now. I thought he learned his lesson the first time. You know, maybe Obviously, these guys have come up with the strategy, and Jake, it seems to be working. The Patriot leaning against the ropes now, obviously in trouble. Irish whip now, oh, and a big clothesline with that flagpole. That's a solid wooden flagpole. That will not feel good across the throat in the least. This could be it. Well, he certainly didn't kick out of the one that time. Two count. You know, his kickouts, they're, they're already slowing down. I mean, it... You know, we just started getting some pen attempts, but already the Patriot seems to be worn down. I mean, certainly taking a flag post to the, uh, the Larynx there won't help matters at all. Costello and now dropping elbows as Tarvin distracts Doc Gregory. Once again, I got to believe that this was a part of the game plan coming in is you take the ref, I'll hit him, I take the ref, you hit him. And I have to say, at this point in the matchup, here we go with another pin. That kind of reminds me of a formula that Hyman used to use. Simple, effective. Exactly. You know, I, I have to say, at this point in the match, we were wondering if these fans would count as the other man on the outside, so to speak, for the Patriot. At this point in time, it seems as though uh, Tarvin and Costello have found a way to overcome these fans, and they're fully in control. Absolutely. The Patriot's throat was draped right across that middle rope, and the 300-plus pound Tarvin drapes that leg across it after hitting the far side. And there we go, Costello once again getting hands on the Patriot. Doug Gregory's back once again. This is... This is nothing against the referee, Doc Gregory. This is just the cunning uh, game plan of the European syndicate now. 
You know, at this point, Jake, this might as well be a handicap match. We constantly see Costello interfering. He's constantly involving himself. We might as well just call this a handicap match. Oh, big sunset flip sunset there. Flip. Once again, the referee distracted. He's down for, he's been down for three. If the ref could turn around, you know, Costello's got him tied up there. This would be over right now. Now he's there and oh. kicks out. I have to think, Jake, if, if Costello had not distracted Doc Gregory, I think this match would have been over. Big clothesline sends the Patriot back down. Still only able to get two from the Patriot. Tarvin looks like he might start, it looks like he might be getting a little frustrated, Jake. He, he, he would almost have to be at this point. I mean, he's basically had somebody arm in arm with him this entire match, and they're still no further than they were five minutes ago. They're, the Patriot, it's frustrating with the Patriots sometimes because he's been around so long, he knows how to you know, work smarter, not harder, and uh, he's in such great condition that you can beat on him, beat on him, beat on him, and then all of a sudden he shrugged it off. Absolutely. You feel like you got to start the, the back of the starting line. Like starting all over again at the beginning of the match. It's got to be frustrating. In fact, it is frustrating. I can say that as a competitor myself, it is. Big knee to the, the low bread basket, if you will. On the big man, Tarvin. Tarvin motioning now, going up. On the second rope, he hits this. This has got to be Looks like it. we might have a, is it a splash or leg drop? It's black. Oh! Patriot wisely rolls out of the way. And high risk comes with high risk. That's a perfect definition right there. Sometimes there's a big reward, sometimes there's not. And unfortunately, Tarvin's reward was a big mouthful of canvas. Going for that. Oh, there's that full Nelson. Oh, right into Costello. Knocks him Here off the go. apron. Oh, and the uncle slam. Puts the leg. Cover. And the three count. And there's the three. The Patriot victorious once again. European syndicate zero. The Patriot two in the last 14 hours. And this crowd absolutely loves it. The Spring Mountain Festival attendees get their money's worth here today as the Patriot goes victorious once again. As you can see, Costello and Tarvin on the opposite side of the ring, clearly, clearly upset, clearly frustrated that yet again, despite all of their attempts and tactics, they were not able to overcome the Patriot here today. Absolutely, and after a frustrating weekend, I'm wondering exactly what their drawing board's gonna look like when they go back home and try to get back on track.